I'm going to make some sablé biscuits and usually they're sweet, but I'm going to spice it up today using some walnuts, some beautiful soft and juicy figs and blue cheese. Now sablé in French means sand, so it does have quite a sandy texture. We need around three quarters of a cup and that goes straight into a food processor. Now I'm just going to chop some of these really soft juicy figs. You could use whatever you like for this. You could use some dates, you could use some prunes for this. And we're just going to very roughly cut them in half and that's the sweetness to this bicky. And some crunch. One around 40 grams of walnuts. Again, change it up. Hazelnuts work really well. Almonds work really well. Even pecans are fantastic. And now for the cheese. Around 60 grams of blue cheese. Something with a little bit of a bite because after mixing through the flour and the nuts and also the butter, some of the richness will go away. So you need a good kick to it. This is a Stilton here. And just crumbling that. We're going to pulse this until it just comes together. You don't want to overwork it though because we still want speckles of the nuts in there and the figs. All right, so we've got that crumb consistency. Now this is actually butter. It's really, really cold and I've just grated it. We just want it to really come together so I can work it on the board. Let's place that back on and just a really quick pulse now. All right, let's get everything out of the way and I'm going to just take all that out. Oh, it smells good. And then, just with your hands, squish it until we get a disc. Now we need to start rolling this out. I find it easier to use a bit of baking paper. Two pieces. We'll place our disc onto one piece, pop another one on top, and we're going to roll this out so it's about one centimetre thick. When you're rolling, always turn the paper and never turn your body so you get a proper even roll. Let's have a look. Oh, they look good. And now what we need to do is use a cookie cutter. This is about five centimetres and we're just going to cut out some of our biscuits just like that. Don't they look great? Love them. Onto a non-stick tray, we're going to place them. Just put a little bit of salt, just a touch on top, and a crack of pepper. And that'll be really nice and crunchy. All right, I'll finish these off, and they're going to bake in the oven for about six to eight minutes, so really fast, at 180 degrees. Bickies are out of the oven, they're golden brown and it's a beautiful smell. I can smell the cracked pepper, the walnuts and that blue cheese which I adore. And I'm just going to just place them on a plate like this. They need to cool down just slightly but I want to have a taste. What I love most about this is that delicious sticky fig in there. You can taste the sweetness against the saltiness of the blue cheese. A beautiful savoury bicky.